Do you have a wide rim or a near date 1979 Susan B. Anthony dollar? Stay tuned to find out. I want to remind everyone PortsmouthCoinShop.com is my website. It's my retail website. I have proof sets, mint sets, graded silver eagles, graded Morgan dollars, several of them type coins. So check it out. So you hear a lot about the Susan B. Anthony 1979. Now, there's something very interesting about the 1979 Susan B. Anthony dollar. It's the first coin since the war nickels of 1942 to 1945 that actually got a P-Mint mark for the Philadelphia Mint. It's the, only, it's the first time. And they started with the Susan B. Anthony dollars in 1979. They put the P-Mint mark on them. Now, one, also another thing about them is that the design was changed a little bit as far as the rims are concerned. So you have a smaller portion of the mintage that has what they call the wide rim or near date. Now, these can be valuable, but most of the time they're valuable in higher grades. So the wide rim, you can buy it for, like I said, here's $5.95. And here's a bit of $5. $9.99. So they're not really expensive. If they're graded, it's a little different. They can be worth a little bit more, but here's the 64 plus for $34.99. Now, for typically a coin that is worth face value, that's pretty good. I mean, you find one, you get five bucks out of it, ten bucks out of it, it's really nice. So, what is the wide rim? What is the near date? Well, here's an example. This was created by a company to show you the difference between the two. As you can see, the one on your left is actually a wide rim near date. And one on the right is your typical, what you see most of the time. Now, what's important if you don't have another coin to compare to, you know that that one is just a barely little bit of a space between that and the rim. Okay, that's very important. Now, if you don't have another coin to compare it to, want to know what the wide rim looks like or the near date looks like, the 1980-81 examples are also near dates, but that's normal for them. So if you take one of them and you compare it to your 79s, you find a 79, it looks like how the date's close to the rim on an 80 or 81, then you know you have a near date. So that's how you know. That's how much they're worth. And thanks for watching my latest video. And please like, share, and comment. And have a great day.